Guess where we're going today? There, but no. <laughs> no, but I could actually use some therapy after waiting for two hours in line to get into this place. But at least I got in and I get to show you around, so... Come on MTV, welcome to my crib. To Tolgi's crib, to Bakyon's son's crib. Look at him, oh my god, that face. So when you get in, this is what you see. There's a bunch of rooms. And each room is themed differently. Let's go to one by one. So this is his closet where he gets ready in the morning. This is all the clothes he has. He has more clothes than me. Kinda jealous, not gonna lie. This is where he, I don't know, is a ghost and haunts people, I guess. I don't know, I wouldn't mind if he haunted me. Haunt me anytime, Tologi, thank you. This is his bedroom, it's so adorable. Look at all this stuff. The window, the little chair, it's so cute. The bed looks so comfy, let's look at everything one by one. Look at that bed, I wanna sleep there. Let's see everything up close. So he has, I don't know what he has, he has books and stuff, whatever that is. And this, I assume, is his office space, where he does very important jobs, like drawing self-portraits, I guess, and faking background signatures. I don't know, I, I, I'm kind of down with that one. If he could fake one for me, I would appreciate it. Okay, back to the table, because look at all of these Mondrian photo cards. That's so adorable. Come on. <laughs> this is me going to say hi to him. Hello. Um, this is interesting. I would sit down with you, but you don't have a chair there, so... Moving on to the next room. Okay, but this is living room. People are taking cute selfies, but I'm looking at the TV. Look at that. Look how adorable. That TV. Oh my god, look at him. Look at him with his mini me. Oh my god. That's so freaking cute. I can't believe this place is gonna close down in a month and never again. Okay, this situation right here. Um, is is this is this allowed? Cause I don't know if I should call CPS or something. Um, but let's go up close. That's his dirty laundry. That's his clothes. But yeah, someone get him out. I'm gonna go. I went to check what's in the back of this place and it turns out that's the last step of this place and if you get merch you can get your fortune t told by Tologi, apparently he's also a psychic, um, yeah. This is him collecting strawberries, apparently strawberries fall from the sky in his world, I'm not gonna question it. And those are the strawberries he collected, let's go look up close up at what he's selling there, because I think he's selling something. This is like a selling stand he has going on. So he's selling strawberries, mini voodoo dolls of himself, rugs of himself. Okay, this whole place, there's so many things here that I need and I want and I need, but I tried to make a reservation. I literally had an alarm set and at exactly 6 p.m. when it was at exactly the time that it was supposed to become available, I literally clicked it and it was sold out. I don't understand how people get anything extra related in Korea. It's always sold out. But yeah, this is where you can buy a drink and I actually got a drink there. And this is where you pick up your merch if you had a reservation. But I don't, so I went back inside to show you some more stuff. So this situation, I don't know how appropriate this is, but this is where he takes a bath with two of his other twins, I guess. Left. So that's nice, let's get out of here before FBI comes. Okay, so this is my new BFF, Mythology the big boy, and he is literally my new BFF. I'm never leaving this place, we are like, we are forever together, move on. Okay, this place would probably be so much more fun if I could understand any Korean because there's a lot of writings and cute stuff that I just don't understand and yeah. 
So I went and bought my drink and left. This is what you see. This is outside. There's another one of the big boys and it's the same size as the one inside. So yeah. This is his strawberry garden where he collects strawberries. There was a huge line for this photo booth and I'm not gonna go there. Instead, I'm gonna go to his car. Yep, he has a car which he uses to sell strawberries as we can see. So while everyone was in line to get to the photo booth, I had this I had his car all to myself. I love when this happens, okay? Hello. Hopefully they don't find out that I don't have a driver's license because I don't want to get in trouble. But this was really cute. And you can also see my drink that I bought in my hand. It was pretty good. It was strawberry. Obviously it was strawberry because he collects strawberries in his garden. Obviously, okay. This whole place was really fun, but 7 p.m. so I'm leaving. This is what you see when you go out King Telegi and all the stuff he has inside. Cafe counter, bathroom, living room, bedroom, his strawberry farm, his photo booth and car. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the outside. <laughs> Yeah, that's huge. Like, you're not gonna miss this place. <laughs> I, I was worried that I'm gonna miss it, but you can't miss it. Was it worth it standing two hours in line? Therapy would have been more worth it, I think. But it was fun. But I'm not gonna go again. Hopefully not. Therapy comes first. Before I lose it and go back there. Look who I also met outside when I was leaving. And also this. Look what it says. P Yublik Ki T Chan. Oh my god, they stand Chan. I also stand Chan. That's so cool. Anyway, hopefully you liked my tour of the Tologi house. Bakyon, please don't close down this place in a month and instead let me live there. Thank you. Goodbye.